Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Of course, my name is Blitzwanger, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to, of course, another episode in the Let's Play LEGO Jurassic World gameplay walkthrough. I do indeed hope you guys are having a fan for a fantastic day. Thank you so very much for, of course, checking out the previous 10 parts. Yes, we are in the midway point of the game at this point, because, of course, now all we have to, left to check out is actually Jurassic Park 3, which still does take place on this same very island, and that's, of course, the Isla Sorna. And then after that, we're going to head back to Isla Nebular in order to check out, of course, Jurassic World. That being said, of course, as always, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to smack that like button. The very first part of this walkthrough has already surpassed 8,000 likes, which is insane. So thank you so very much for showing that support. And uh, if we could hit maybe uh, 1,000 or 2,000 on this video, that would be absolutely spectacular. So uh, let's get rocking and rolling shall we we're heading to the landing site when feeding a baby dinosaur hold your hand flat and don't tease even herbivores can bite by the way i noticed that you can zoom in like that to the actual uh, levels which is pretty cool so if you never saw that you can do that hello <laughs> whoa she's not very whoa okay well none of them are actually very careful with the bones those are very fragile this is brilliant Really, it is. Sad to say, I'm gonna have to back up in four weeks. Oh no, not enough funds, I guess. Paul Kirby, Kirby Enterprises. K -K Kirby, yay, Kirby, Kirby, like the pink Kirby. Oh man, he's gonna show up. That's gonna be cool. Tour they can come up with. I've chartered an airplane to fly us over Isla Sorna, and we'd like you to be our guide. And of course, we'd love to make a contribution to your research here. <laughs> <laughs> $300, yay! Of course, it's supposed to be a lot more than that. The idea there is that it's supposed to be a lot more tempting than that. Because it probably takes hundreds of thousands, I'm guessing, to keep like a dig site like that operational. <laughs> it's just like, money? Money? Everyone? <laughs> if I give you money, can we fly over there? And it seems like that works out just fine for him. Great. Talking Velociraptors. I think they're looking for someone. Bane. A wreck. Those are some cool blasters. What are they doing? They're setting up a perimeter to make the place safe. Very good. There's no such thing as safe. We have to get back on that plane. Will you tell your wife to stop making that noise? That is a very, very bad idea. Nope. She's not stopping anytime soon. And she looks nothing like Kirby, which is disappointing. That would have been very, very, very cool if she looked like Kirby. All right, so we have Paul Kirby, who seems to have a rope and a mechanical tool. We have Billy Brannan, who does not... Oh, no, he actually does have something on his lap. I can't quite tell what it is. It almost looks like a canning, uh, like a canister, like a watering canister. And, of course, Alan Grant, who can dig stuff up and also cut through... Um, cables or uh, of course uh, all of those um, vines that we've seen before and I'm not talking about the social media site here we go let's do some smash and bash pinky promise okay <laughs> I'm sure that will be enough to convince everyone that they're safe It's probably not the greatest idea to be shouting like that. Yep. And that's why it's probably a pretty good idea to tell her to maybe stop. Like, just tell her, hey, what's up? Could you, like, not do that? That would be really cool. Because then we don't have a giant headache on our hands in the form of giant dinosaurs that want to eat us. It would be kind of like a cool thing for your... For us not to have to deal with. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff to smash and bash on this side of things. Goodness gracious, did they really expect them to walk through all this? I guess they do, I guess they do. Well, it's just my temptation. I, I gotta smash and bash so we could get some uh, studs, of course, to increase our potential of getting uh, to Survivor. Goodness gracious, this level is so lengthy. Look at this. When does it end? It seems to be endless. I mean, look at this. Like, this one area seems to be ginormous. And I'm not complaining. That's a good thing. Adds more to the uh, 
Excitement at a level. Okay, so there we go. That's about as far as it goes. Okay. And then after that, it seems like you hear dinos roaring. So we probably don't want to go there. At least not anytime soon. Alright, I think we're about to get into our first fight here, guys. Against these little guys. I'm guessing. Here we go. Yikes. Come on. Bring it on. Alright, so we've got to have somebody who can throw stuff. I don't know who that somebody would be. I'm not sure which of our characters actually has the ability to do so, but maybe I actually don't have anyone that can interact with this stuff in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, I don't think so, so unfortunately there's no way for us to break that. Uh, what we can do, however, is take Mr. Alan Grant and cut through this thing. So let's bring this vine down. And... Whoa! Okay, I missed out on that minikit somehow. Okay, we get it, Amanda! You, you're you trying to find Eric. You've said his name about a gajillion times at this point. It's like, Amanda, you're, you're doing this wrong. We told you. You're attracting about every dino into the area. Which is not a good thing at all. Trust me. Well, especially as Alan Grant, he knows. He's had <laughs> he's had one or two run-in run-ins, sorry, with some dinos. So I'm pretty sure he knows what he's talking about. And that's probably why he hesitates so much to even go on this trip. And if it wasn't for the funding that the Kirby's can provide him with, in order to of course continue his digging, I don't really think he would have accepted this deal whatsoever. All right, so unfortunately we don't have anybody who can interact with that, so that's kind of out of the question in terms of possible things that we may do. So, I guess we ought to just continue this way. I'm really I'm really uncertain as to what I am supposed to do right now. Because it seems like a lot of the stuff that I'm typically kind of used to interacting with, I actually cannot interact with. So, ooh, look at that blue stud hidden back there. See that? Do you see how they try to hide that one? Oh, we got it. Hey! Uh-oh. Getting attacked. Getting attacked. Okay. Use the rope, such as the one carried by Kirby, to pull the Lego hooks. Okay. Where are our Lego hooks? Oh, there's our first Lego hook. Or hook. Sorry. Or a hook. Or a hook. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Clearly. It's a hook. That's how I always say it, but I don't know why. It sounds like I'm saying it weird. And because I am saying it weird. A hook. Hey, let's go get Captain Hook. There we go. That's how you say it. No? I'm pretty sure. All right. Adventurers can climb higher walls. Okay. Finally, we know who can actually climb. Nope. Not Alan. We need... Okay. Can we switch to Billy? Thanks. I was going to say, like, we're switching to everyone except for Billy. Okay. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Smash and bash strategy 101. I don't think I can do anything about that. I need Alan to cut that down. So, unfortunately, at this moment, all I can do is just climb. And get up to the higher layer here. Ooh. There's lots to do right here. Lots to get, of course, in terms of studs and such. I am seriously getting upset with Amanda. At this point, it's like, come on! We've heard you before. About a gajillion, million, billion times. Watch, she's gonna say Eric again. Eric! 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 Okay, here we go. Now, of course, we understand why. If we were in her position, I'm sure we would be doing the same thing. But it's just in the position that we are in right now of having to hear her say it about a gajillion times. It's not the most exciting thing. Here we go. Let's bring that down as well. And now we have a hook that can we can uh, actually interact with. So let's switch. And now Mr. Alan Grant is going to do some digging here. And, whoa, that's a ginormous skeleton. Whatever it is, it is massive, that thing. Yikes, look at that. It's like a snake bridge. Whoa. <laughs> that's spooky. That rattles around like that. Whoa, careful. Okay, so we're definitely going to get to fixing this thing in just a moment here. So let's switch to Mr. Paul Kirby, who does have the ability to fix this thing. So, whoa, what are you doing, dude? You were fixing this. Why don't you just start doing... Okay, I was a little confused, because I was like, why is he playing with the rope? <laughs> For no apparent reason. Here we go. Ooh. Nice. All right. We've got another platform in position. Billy, you're up, buddy. We need you to do some climbing here. Oh, wait. No, we don't. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad. My bad. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I know what I did wrong there. 
So we're going to just fix that real quick. Because we actually were supposed to continue, I think, to get across using Alan Grant. Because if you remember, there was that little bit there that we can actually cut off or cut down. So there we are, you see? Now we can interact with this thing. And cut this thing down. Just like so. Maybe. No, she's not stopping. Nope. Amanda's just gonna... This episode is gonna be called Eric. It's not gonna be called Welcome to the Lost World. I mean, because that would make no sense, because it isn't the Lost World. We've already played through the Lost World. But it's it just like, why, Amanda? Why? We get... <laughs> Amanda, please! We get it! You want to find Eric, so do we. But you screaming is probably not gonna help. Oh, there you go. You see? Now she's gonna listen. Because now she won't have a choice <laughs> to, but to listen. There isn't many other options available. Whoa! That's a lot of studs. That is a lot of studs. And I mean, the other thing you have to consider is that her doing that is not good for everyone because she's putting everyone else in this campsite at danger. So I understand that she's worried and she wants to find Eric, but at this point, she's putting every single other living person in danger of, of course, all the dinos arriving, so that's another reason why it's kind of important for us to make sure that we can uh, put a stop to her screaming. Just say, please stop, please, pretty please, with a cherry on top. All right, I do see this uh, item right... Ooh, I almost got it. Did you see that? That was so close. I mean, I know that if I had a character that could jump across... Oh, man, I'm so close to actually grabbing that. What if I jump from here? Nope, I don't think I'm... I think you're literally meant to only get it via the little jump pad right there. I'm guessing, at least. I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll try one more. One more time. Huzzah! Nope. <laughs> it looks like I'm, like, hitting it with my uh, hat, but unfortunately, I guess I'm just a little too far away from the actual contact with the dino DNA in that scenario. All right, let's bring these ladders, or stairs, I should say, to her so we could, A, get her down safely, and B... Tell her to please not scream, Eric. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please, let's go. Come on. Yikes. Well, it looks like we were too late with that. Everybody back on the plane, and let's get out of here. What? What? Are you a professional? Okay. Wow. That was some clever maneuvering. Uh-oh. Oh! Whoa! Oh, okay, he's coming with us. I got worried for a sec. No! <laughs> what are you doing? You can't just windshield wipe him out of the way? Oh, man. Yeah. Great. Just great. I guess we're not going anywhere. Well... Anywhere but down. Oh man, what's the name of this guy? I forgot. Is that it's not Spinosaurus? I forget. The one that has the really sharp back. Whoa! Yes, the phone saved us. That's the lesson of the day there. Be saved by the phone. Uh oh. Here we go. We're gonna have to do some clever jumping. We're gonna have to be the clever girl, so to speak. I know that that makes no sense. And I do realize that clearly. Yikes. Okay. Watch out for the bite. Okay. Jumped over two of those. Ouch. Here we go. Here we go. Jump. Nice. That is pretty dynamic, though. That looks really, really cool. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, he's distracted by the parasaur. Awesome. Uh oh, but we gotta keep running. Great. At least we got away from him, though, so that's something. I mean, that's worth something. Ooh, I forgot the mini kit there. Ouch! Okay, these guys are dangerous as well. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's back. Great. Just great. The Parasaur couldn't distract him long enough, I guess. Oh, man. He's gotta go for it. Bite. Chomping and biting, and we're gonna dodge it all. Huzzah! I'm getting away from him, getting away from him. Ouch. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're getting this thing done. Successfully. Somewhat. Come on. Trying to get lots of studs there, too. 
And I think we got away. Ha ha, you don't know how to dodge trees. It's time you did some explaining, Mr. Kirby. <laughs> really? That's just not smart. Why? Why, Billy? Why? Oh, there we go. All right, level complete. I kind of was surprised by that. I thought there was going to be another section there, but that's a level completed right there. And of course, we unlocked free play. Unfortunately, that means that we didn't get to survivor ranking. I guess I should have continued to smash and bash everything at the very beginning uh, of the level. But I honestly thought, you know what? A lot of you guys are going to get annoyed at her screaming, uh, of course, Eric all the time. So I just wanted to quickly get through that section, including myself. I said it myself. I thought she was getting a little bit crazy uh, all over the place. Nonetheless, we did manage to get three mini kits, which is awesome sauce. We also unlock Alan Grant in his Isla Sorna outfit, which is awesome, as well as Billy Brannon, the man who uh, aggravates dinosaurs by throwing apples at them. Paul Kirby, of course. Amanda Kirby. Cheryl Logan. Anyone else? Ooh, I think that's all. Okay, let's see what vehicle we got. Or vehicles, maybe even. Site B Transport, rusty version. Why the rusty one? Can we get unrusted? Pickup truck. Okay, pretty straightforward. Not a very fancy name. Just, hey, it's a pickup truck. Enjoy it. That's it. That's about all you get there. All right, we also managed to, of course, get ourselves a nice gold brick, which is pretty awesome sauce as well. And there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed, of course, today's episode. If you did, please don't forget to smack that like button, share the video with your family and your friends. And as always, guys, I will indeed hopefully see you lovely folks here next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.